Hello and welcome to PhD Cafe TV. Uh, today I'm gonna do a comparison of the Hobonichi original A6 Tetro size Hon notebook and the uh, Sunny Schedule notebook, which is the B6 size one. First of all, I'm pretty sure uh, you're all familiar with the uh, Hobonichi A6 or the original size um, the top so this is the home version um, let me just show you the uh, design that I actually um, selected for this year so it's that elegant um, ivory colored notebook with a slash sign and this is actually uh, my gratitude journal yes and um, well, basically, I'm supposed to introduce you uh, the Sunny Schedule Notebook. I find that there aren't as many uh, reviews about this particular notebook on YouTube, uh, except for the one that I found from Aoi Yume. I'll probably have to link her um, YouTube video below in uh, the description um, I meant in the uh, like the English versions of the reviews but there are as much uh, Japanese um, reviews about this notebook which I find actually quite fascinating as there are a lot of ways or actually creative ways that you can use this notebook for your needs and they describe that in the Japanese reviews that I've seen on YouTube but anyway um, let's just go through the contents um, if you want to know about the like the like if you want to know about the uh, different um, pages that this notebook has um just check out i you miss uh video but um what i'm gonna talk about here is like how i use it and how it compares to the hobonichi hon first of all let me just flex um this lovely canvas fabric multi case slash book cover from Ayano Koji. It's a Kyoto based um, company that creates or specializes in this kind of uh, snap fastener like this and they make all different kinds of things like bags, pouches, and um, book covers and in this case the multi-purpose case in b6 size cover b6 size and um, if you want to know how awesome it is you can maybe listen to the sound that beautiful sound <laughs> as it snapshot there anyway um so it's like this inside and it fits the b6 notebook um, just enough space, um, maybe a little bit uh, like roomy, but I think the purpose is that um, it gives, it provides you room for or for when your notebook actually like gets uh, thicker in time. But nevertheless, it's comfortable for me. So yeah, that's the. Ayano Koji Kamaguchi multi-purpose slash book cover case and the reason why I wanted this um, cover is that it's easy for me to open and shut it and I'm not really I don't know I'm okay with zippers but like if this is the notebook I'm gonna reach out for the most and then very like reach out often and I would want have wanted something that I could just open and shut 
like really quickly like this key yeah side here it are pockets for like three pens well I can I think you can fit one more but uh, mainly I use only these three the friction pen friction ball multi colored pens like there's four of them and the uh, zig clean dot color yellow and a my mild lighter in brown yeah and then um there's pockets for your stickers i use a lot of stickers and card sizes pockets like there's nine and another pocket here so yeah i think it's pretty much convenient at least for what i need right now so there and uh, there you go that's the the cover that i have they have a lot more other designs and if you're interested you can just um ask me just leave me a message so now let's just talk more about how i use this notebook um i actually wanted to minimize the notebooks i use for different purposes because um, basically, I wanted to compartmentalize. That's why I I opted for like several notebooks for just one purpose. Then I realized it's too much of a task. So um, this notebook is a combination of my to-do list, my uh, self-care log. And my brain dump. Awesome, right? So it's uh, three notebooks at once. I was even thinking to just um, stop using the Hobonichi Weeks for my financial log, but I love the Hobonichi Weeks, so I can't part with that. So technically, this is my task management notebook. So this is a weekly um, vertical planner and it has the how cute is that yellow yellowish orange sunny uh it has the <laughs> sorry i get distracted uh it has the calendar the year year calendar from 2023 that's last year and up until 2026 how awesome is that so you can plan your life ahead three years ahead not really uh, I'm not sure and uh, just look back whatever i don't know whatever you have here for 2023 actually i'm not really sure about the purpose of that but some people might want to like check out what the date is last year and then um as this is a spring start um i haven't um logged anything here yet but i was planning to log my chores here if i've done them <laughs> i don't know which day just so i get an idea like how often i actually do these chores especially like cleaning the major parts of the house <laughs> yeah and so it starts in april this year and ends in march next year and then you have the uh monthly which is yeah just a monthly overview of um i don't know of my schedules birthdays and whatnot so here at the bottom i was thinking to put like what's my monthly goal and <clears throat> what is it that i wanted to do <clears throat> for that month so there's like goal and want to do 
what which is not necessarily like a must do same as with the goal I, I mean if we can't achieve it then it's fine well at least for me <laughs> so if you want to see close-ups of pens that i use to test here um i tried a fountain pen here with the herbin j herbin inks they're fine there's some ghosting but no bleeding except for the probably for the mild and not the mild liner the zig dot color if you press them too long or too hard then you get a lot of um ink out of that pin so now i've mastered <laughs> i rather i figured out like <clears throat> um how much pressure should i be pressing it to get that dot that won't bleed so um this let me just go to the clean one here so you have here the date of the week this is the month and then the monthly calendar and then um like highlighting here which week you're on and then this is the entire like vertical no uh time line like uh free space i don't know it's not really free space i mean you have a like a dotted dotted um guide here and then uh technically you can use it for like a.m p.m and night something like that because or a.m p.m and then you get this like a little bit solid more solid line here in the middle and then you have a uh, extra square for i don't know what and then you have a free <coughs> memo like a grid space here at the bottom and then um you have a darker line here for like um separating it this part of the memo the weekend but actually you can use however you want it to like in my case um <clears throat> i use it for um <laughs> my weekly order for the groceries and then i use the two-thirds up for the th my to-do list the things that i need to do and at the bottom bottom one third of this vertical space here for the day is i use for the things that i want to do and i only put max three items and then if i cannot put max three items here i'll just um usually just uh, like write them somewhere else but usually i would lie uh i would write it on the day I thought of it so something like that and on the the bottommost part is the uh, schedule or something that is scheduled on that day and I use a <clears throat> color coding scheme with my um, friction pen so Oops. The things that I want to do are in green. Green. The things that I need to do is in, written in blue. And the, the schedule and other the memo stuff I write in black. So the red is just for <coughs> highlighting what is the most um like highlighting the the item with the highest priority for that day it's like i need to do this or something like that and then um you got a space some space here let me just zoom into that you've got space here on the date or, or where the date is actually printed 
and I use that for um, taking note of the weather using my stickers because I still have a lot of these like weather related stickers very cute yeah and um, I also use um, stickers for in some part of the page uh, yeah and um, the memo pages I use for ideas and whatever comes to mind or like lists um, for example here um, I put a memo if I wrote something on the notes pages <coughs> or uh, the inventory, anything that is list or whatever. And um, I also put the page where I wrote it, but technically I don't really need to because um, to me out, I go to the pages, uh, the, the memo pages, I have this index here, so it also helps. And the good thing about this index page is that you can write, I mean, it has a column for when you wrote that um, specific entry. And it's very easy to find here. And so you can see the pages here. And it has like all lines for all the pages in the index. So it has 139 memo pages which I think is enough just enough for me so I use it mainly for um, tracking my meals how much calories I ate that day and obviously I am very con inconsistent about that but it's okay um, until I get the hang of it I think I'll do better next time and just some list like I used to have this station here inventory but they're like scattered everywhere so now that I have an inventory of what I have it's the stationery that I have in this year then I I'm hoping that it gets um, easier to um, track what I have Basically, that's how I use it, and I use a uh, sticky notes. For example, like this type of sticky notes, I actually use to write some expenses here, and then transfer them later on to my um, finance log, which is my favorite Hobonichi weeks. And actually, I. I kind of like the new system that I've been um, working on. So I've been enjoying using this notebook for the past three weeks. And uh, I haven't really like uh, stuck to one <laughs> um, layout for this one. But so far, I'm just using it for my managing my tasks and my schedule and my memo yeah like i don't know that's just probably how my brain works um now to compare it with the uh, hobonichi hon so this is the hon and obviously <laughs> the size the size difference um is uh, quite big. Um, I'm comfortable with the A6 in terms of like writing entries like well, this one in my old journal but for writing more things um, I prefer the B6 size I think just for managing tasks and everything I'd say this would be my life management tool. <laughs> yeah and um, this is not Tomoe River paper for sure. Uh, 
but the uh, <clears throat> I think it's as thin as or a little bit thicker I guess I cannot tell as the uh, Hobonichi uh, paper hmm I'd say it's I don't know. <laughs> I can't really tell, but I feel like this is like thinner. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. It is. It feels like that. And uh, in terms of smoothness, um, I think they're in par. But the first time I opened this paper, I'm, I was like, wow, this is really smooth. And when I did the pen test, <coughs> um, the pens like glide naturally. I mean, there's no um, scratchy feeling, even if it's like the fine one the only problem is that when i did the pilot kakono f size i was running out of ink so i guess that's that but generally all the pens i wrote he i used here were like uh, gliding very smoothly on this paper i recommend it and as for the color this is uh, a little bit cream on the cream side this is a little um as opposed to the hobonichi which is um a bit white but let's try to compare it with the weeks um well obviously the weeks is the creamiest of all i think that didn't sound right but i mean um <laughs> It has a quite another a deeper like uh, maybe more ivory, yeah, colored paper. So this one is uh, the sunny teacher one is like in between these two, I think. I don't know if you can see that here. I think the camera might not be capturing it. Clearly, yeah, it looks like that. Um, it's not white, stark white. I don't like stark white. Like, uh, let me give you a good example of what white I don't like in papers. Maybe this one. Yeah, this one. <laughs> Although I just use these uh, perforated stickies for te temporary temporarily <clears throat> and um, I think the cover is like uh, is like a thick cardboard paper I think much like the uh, Hobonichi original which actually I don't have maybe I have it somewhere else but I could compare it to the um, Midori one. So this is the Midori like uh, paper cover. I don't know, cardboard cover. I forgot that part of the book. I don't know what part of it. Anyway, the outermost cover. So it's a little bit thicker than the Midori. And uh, it feels like, I don't know how it feels. Um, I think it feels like those packaging kind of cardboard uh, paper that you use for um, like keeping documents when you send them, but thicker. And the um, binding is almost similar as the Midori one and in 
such a way that actually it lays flat, you guys. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, actually I forgot to mention that this is one of the features of a notebook, a bounded notebook that I would really, really, really <laughs> consider when getting one, especially for a planner that I always have to like um, open, like leave it open all the time because like when I have something on my head, like bam, I need to write it here. I don't need to oh, clip it or something like that. It's just lays flat. Yeah. Well, I think it's the same as the Hobonichi, which lays flat too. Right? Um, yeah, so that's that for the binding. And as for the paper, I really like the sound of flipping. When I try to flip the paper, I don't know if you can hear that. Maybe you should. I'm not sure if it's the same crisp sound you get when you use the Hobonichi one. Let's try. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Now that I think about it. This is a crispier sound, but I think I just yeah, it's almost the same. I thought they're like totally different. Oh well, um, I would say the Hobonichi one has a crispier sound. <laughs> so in terms of the grid size, so the Hobonichi has a 3.7 millimeter size grid. Um, Meanwhile, the um, Sunny Techo has, I mean, in the memo pages, I think these are like two millimeters uh, grid. It's very tiny, much like what you would get from. Oh no, it's a little bit bigger. Um, I thought it was similar as to the um, grid size what you have in the plotter but let me see i don't know if you can see that because it's very faint but the plotter grid size this one has um two millimeters i guess this one is just slightly bigger than two millimeters but um what uh slightly smaller than the Hobonichi one. So I guess the Hobonichi has the largest grid size. Next is the Sonita Cho and lastly is the plotter. But this is just for the memo on the weekly page. And you also have the one, the dotted grid for the um, notes. And let me just compare that with the Hobonichi one. Just putting it like over. Oh. Oh. Um. I tried to like uh, overlay the exact one. Ex this one of the square <laughs> exactly on the Hobonichi. I think it's slightly different in size by some. Dot zero 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 millimeter, so just a tiny little bit, but technically, I it might be that because of the paper size, they kind of um, do not exactly f like fit each other. I'm not sure, but the size of this one might be slightly smaller than i mean in the sunny tetro than in the hobonichi one so i guess that's it for the comparison of the sunny tetro with the hobonichi original 
and I'm hoping that it would be helpful for you to con when you try to consider getting this Sunny Schedule book. I think it isn't too late yet because um, this is spring start, so you might want to um, what <laughs> um, play with it or I don't know try to <clears throat> discover that it might be helpful for what you need um, this is not a paid ad by the way I just really like this notebook and uh, to be honest I've been eyeing this since last last year or actually yeah two years ago when I actually first saw it um, but now I realize that it wasn't I mean at that time it wasn't the one that I needed but now the chance and the opportunity came <laughs> For me to finally use this thing and i'm happy about it and of course also happy with my ayana koji purchase for this uh schedule book they actually have their own uh covers that i think is similar to the traveler's notebook leather covers with a like rubber stretchable rubber band that you can um, close in the middle but I'm not a fan of that because like I said um, I wanted something that would be easy for me to open it up and close it at the same time oh no not at the same time I mean <laughs> um, just for me to be able to easily access it anytime <laughs> uh, yeah and I fell in love with this um, cover from Ayana Koji um, if you want to know more about it just let me know and I guess that's the end of my comparison I hope you like this video thanks and see you again next time bye